This is Robert Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're at the Small Cap Discoveries Conference 2018 in Vancouver, BC. With me right now is Dr. Jennifer Bath from Immunoprecise Antibodies. It's a publicly traded company, two symbols for you, IPA on the TSX Venture and IPATF in the U.S. Dr. Bath, welcome to SNN Live. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having me, too. It's great to have you on. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Okay, sure. So Immunoprecise is a globally operating company. Uh, we have production sites in both North America and Europe. And uh, we serve the biotech and pharmaceutical client base by producing therapeutic antibody drugs with innovative uh, technologies and a full end-to-end -end suite of services. So let's get a history of the company. When did it start and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? Yes, so the company started a little over 20 years ago in Victoria, British Columbia. The company has since grown through a lot of innovation that occurred at its production sites and through mergers and acquisitions over the course of just over the last uh, year as the company has repositioned itself quite specifically to serve the therapeutic antibody market. So are you, is the company technically a, a CRO? Is that, is that technically it? Yes, that, that is correct. We are a contract research organization, or better known as a CRO. And uh, how that works is pharmaceutical and biotech companies outsource a large portion of their work to us to help them to stay more flexible and nim no, nimble and also more competitive. Um, we also do partnerships with companies, which is a little bit different, uh, but we enter into partnerships to discover uh, new therapeutic drugs with them as well. So what makes Immunoprecise unique in the marketplace amongst the competition? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. So there are a few things that make us quite unique. Uh, one is that we bring very innovative technologies to this market space. And so that allows us to bring highly efficient techniques that uh, can both reduce the time that's required to come to a final product, but also greatly increase the probability of success for our clients. We also have a global footprint, so when it comes to the logistical efficiencies of serving clients worldwide, that gives us a real advantage. And then the fact that we do full end-to-end -end services from the time the client brings an idea to us to taking them all the way through discovering the new therapeutic drugs, characterizing them, helping them understand how those drugs work, and actually going into the manufacturing and optimization of those drugs, that full one-stop shop service is a unique aspect of what we bring. And who would you say is your target customer base? Is it more the smaller biotechs or do you work with also big pharma as well? Yes, we work with both. So we have uh, biotech companies uh, that uh, might be focusing on, say, one particular uh, type of a disease or maybe a cluster of similarly related diseases and we also work with large pharma that uh, go through an integration process of bringing multiple different teams together and then collectively outsourcing their work for sometimes a, a multitude of different diseases. So what are some of the challenges that pharmaceutical companies face when they're going through the process of outsourcing their pharmaceutical drug discovery? Oh, that is a great question, actually. So one of the major challenges for pharmaceutical companies has been that historically they have outsourced their work to multiple different CROs. And what that means is they have to go to the first CRO and do a small portion of it, find another CRO to accomplish this work for them. And then that means getting legal teams involved, different contracts, different project managers. Uh, so obviously a really quite long and laborious process for them. Um, and in particular, you know, where we have a, a trend where more and more pharmaceutical companies are outsourcing a larger portion of their drug discovery work, and the market is just continuing to grow uh, so incredibly quickly, not only are we providing this, this one-stop solution for them so they can kind of uh, go around a lot of the challenges associated with piecing together these CROs, but we also see this great opportunity to really transform the way that these market segments are existing separately and pull them all together as, as one new way of, of providing solutions for pharmaceutical companies. 
And Dr. Bath, what's your background? I mean, how did you come into all this? Sure. So uh, I, my background is I have around uh, 20 years of experience in uh, therapeutic antibody drug discovery. Um, I came out of one of uh, the world's fastest growing CROs, actually, and uh, played a role with them both on the business side and on the science side of things. And um, I was brought to Immunoprecise actually about uh, eight months ago, in particular to uh, focus on the repositioning toward this therapeutic drug discovery space because of uh, the fast growth, ha growth happening in that marketplace. And Dr. Bath, from what you can tell us, what are some of the company's growth drivers moving forward? Oh, yeah. So some of our growth drivers moving forward are definitely moving into uh, new market segments out there. In particular, there are some very fast growing areas uh, in terms of uh, different regions throughout the world that we are focusing on. Uh, in addition to that, um, we are looking at production sites in some of the areas where more of our clients are clustered uh, and populated. And uh, we're also constantly looking at more innovative ways of doing things and moving into more partnership models and internal drug development as well. And where can our audience go and find more information about Immunoprecise antibodies? Uh, easiest place would be our website, so immunoprecise.com. Mm -hmm. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Small Cap Discoveries Conference 2018 in Vancouver, BC. With me again is Dr. Jennifer Bath from Immunoprecise Antibodies, publicly traded company, two symbols for you, IPA on the TSX Venture and IPATF in the U.S. Dr. Bath, thank you for joining Great. me today. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.